Okay, everyone, welcome back to another rapid response video. And today I'm going to be mixing two comments from two different people because it is along the same line of conversation. So Britton Stegner says the delay of the Batman 2 makes someone wonder what the hell is Warner Brothers thinking. And then from Cade gets laid, lucky man. Every time the Batman 2 gets delayed, it makes me less and less hopeful for it. So I completely understand the caution behind the way you guys are feeling. And it's not just you guys. It is a lot of fans of Batman, fans of DC, fans of the first film. We are all wondering what in the world is happening. I think there's actually three ways you can look at this situation. Either one, you keep it simplified and say, don't worry, the movie will come out eventually. Number two, you could look at this situation and go deep, theorizing as much as you can about how DC, Warner Brothers, and James Gunn could be actually canceling this movie's release. Or number three, simply just going with the flow and seeing what happens down the road because we truly don't know right now. Keeping it simple, yes, it's coming out 2026. Matt Reeves is not done writing the script. The movie is simply not ready. We have Penguin coming out, but other than that, the Batman 2 is going to have to be a bit of a wait. You could argue what in the world have they been doing for so long. In arguing that, I will also not argue with someone's writing process. I myself write my own stories in my spare time, and it takes me a while to come up with specific things I want to do. If making the Batman 2 as good as the first one means taking longer to write the script, by all means, feel free to do so. But I think there are a couple of ways you can look at this and question it. The first Batman was delayed, completely understand that. Although that movie was practically done, they could have started writing Batman 2 from that point on to ensure a 2025 release date. Obviously, last year we had those super long writing strikes, which I guarantee you right now it did not stop a lot of people from continuing to write some of their movies or shows behind the scenes without people knowing. Let's be honest here, people do stuff like that. Is it ethical? No. But does it stop them? No. But let's take into consideration that the writer strike did delay the writing process. Prior to the writer strike, Strike, we did get quite a lot of articles of Matt Reeves and the current writer of The Batman 2 talking about how they were deep in the writing of The Batman 2, talking about how they've been making a lot of progress. So one has to wonder is, how big is this movie if that's the case? And maybe size isn't the factor. How intricate is the writing of this movie? if they're nowhere near done writing the script. Now, I think it is a little more intricate than just the fact that the movie is not done being written. I think this goes a little more deeper into what DC projects we have releasing in 2025. With James Gunn's Superman scheduled release of next year in July, I wonder if what Warner Brothers is doing is putting all their eggs in one basket with Superman. And there's a lot of things they've done over the past couple of years that really seems like that is what they are trying to do this is almost in a way their only hope because if you put side by side batman and superman and you asked comic book fans who would you take who's the better character who do you prefer i think a solid 60 to 70 percent of dc fans would say batman over superman although you would still have your loyal Superman fans. If you then got involved the general audience, people who are fans of different IPs, people who just like movies, people who don't really know too much about comic books, but obviously know about the two greatest superheroes of all time. I think the poll drastically changes, and I think you now have about 80 to 90% of people who like Batman over Superman. I would not be surprised if DC and Warner Brothers just wants every bit of DC talk 
on Superman. Having the Batman there is a competition for it because it is not in the DCU. It is an Elseworlds project. And as much as DC content doing good in all corners, a DC Elseworlds movie does good and a DC Cinematic Universe movie does good. I think right now Warner Brothers and DC is potentially in such a desperate position to make money for the DCU that any bit of competition is not a good thing right now, even if it is under the same label of DC. I think their goal going into next year is, hey, everyone, make sure you pay attention to Superman and Superman only. Do I think that's a bad move? Not at all. I actually think that is really smart. Whether or not the interest in the DCU is big or small, it doesn't matter because it will ensure people if they want any shred of DC, they now have to watch Superman because that's practically the only thing they're going to get next year. Whereas with the Batman, hey guys, look, you get Batman all the time. Video games, movies, TV shows, is one year that big of a wait for the Batman 2? You already had a delay with the Batman 1, just do it again on Batman 2. That's 100% the way they're thinking about this. Now, if you want to to look even more deeper. We could sit here and consider could James Gunn and DC and Warner Brothers be delaying the Batman 2 because they're planning on canceling it. Now, the excuse we've heard is that the movie is not fully done being written, but also too, a lot of the studio space they needed was unfortunately being signed out by other productions within Warner Brothers, so they had no choice but to wait until those studios were free. Even though there has been this desire to continue elsewhere world stories while the DCU goes on. I myself have been very cautious on that because I don't know if that's a good idea. If your goal is to be a DCU, I feel as if the DCU is the only thing you should be prioritizing on as a studio, as a brand. Even though me myself at this point in time, I would prefer Elseworlds over a connected universe. But just trying to play devil's advocate, I would not be surprised if James Gunn is saying, yeah, don't worry everyone, those Elseworlds projects will be coming out. Nothing to fear. As time goes on, they delay and delay, and they just make more excuses to the point where we wonder if it's actually going to happen. There could be a situation where James Gunn is really trying to push this idea to Matt Reeves of the Batman being part of his DCU. Because another thing I've also been very against is having two different Batmans in cinemas at the exact same time in two different universes. I really don't think that'll work. It will get audiences confused. And what happens if you have an Elseworlds Batman who outperforms a DCU Batman? That won't be a good look for a DCU that you have chosen to prioritize. And another thing I could also be thinking of is whereas Warner Brothers and DC, as I said, are putting all of their eggs in one basket with Superman, considering that a sale of Warner Brothers to another company seems to be inevitable. They could simply be saying, Superman is something we need to focus on. The Batman 2 will be a problem, or maybe not so much a problem, but something for the next ownership and leadership to figure out what they're going to do with it. We don't need that right now. But of course, we now naturally get to option three, which is simply sitting back and observing, seeing what happens, seeing what articles comes out about DC, the Batman, James Gunn as time goes on, seeing what happens when Warner Brothers inevitably gets sold to a different company. We just don't know enough information information, and DC and Warner Brothers are in a very bad position as a company at the moment. You know, if the Batman 2 starts making some strides, the script is done, production starts soon, and we finally get the movie in a couple of years, look at that, there was nothing we ever had to worry about. But if the Batman 2 does get cancelled, if Matt Reeves' world does end up coming to a vast close, 
then we can see what the word of DC and maybe even James Gunn is worth. We can't really believe many things they say. And I think there have been a lot of things that has happened at Warner Brothers and DC over the past couple of years that have made you say, I can't take you at your word. So there is no reason to be surprised that people are worried about this delay for the Batman. We've spent so long trying to trust this company into doing the right thing and how often do they do the right thing out of 10 times maybe only once or twice but there you go guys Thank you to Britton and Cade for the comments on the Batman's questionable future. All of you, let me know in the comments below what you guys think of this situation. Do you think everything will be okay, or do you think there is reason to actually be worried? But I hope you all enjoyed the video, and until the next one, I will talk to you all very soon.